This is Tableau's default filter, and this is the filter we're going to create. Default parameter and the parameter we're going to create. Tableau doesn't have a lot of built-in options for formatting the filter and parameter, so we're going to have to get a little bit creative with this. I'll create a new worksheet and I'll call it filter. I'm going to use region as the filter, so I'm going to pull that into the filters and just check one. Then I'll edit the title of the worksheet and get rid of what's in there. Go to insert and add our region. Now I can edit the filter and add more regions and you can see how it updates in the title. What we're doing is using the sheet's title to dynamically display the value of the filter, and we can control the size of the text in the sheet's title. I'll create a new worksheet for parameter, edit the title, get rid of what's in there, and insert our parameter. Going back to the dashboard, I'll add these two worksheets in. On the filter worksheet, I'll go to the down arrow, go to filters, and choose region. I'll make this a drop down and get rid of the all values. Then I'll hide the title and I'll resize it. I'll do the same thing for the parameter. Use the drop down arrow, go to parameters, and pull in our region parameter. I'll hide the title and then resize it so it's just a little drop down arrow. To change the size of the text in the drop down menu, I'll go to the down arrow and format the filter. I'll make the text of the body a little bit bigger. And I'll do the same thing for the parameter. So I'll format the parameter and choose a larger font for the body. But now when I go to try to select something, you can see North America and South America are getting a little bit cut off. To get around that, I'm just gonna make the size of the entire filter larger. Then I'll format the title of our worksheet, go to shading, and make it a little bit darker. And then I'll bring this to the front. I'll do the same thing for the filter by formatting the title of the filter worksheet and choosing a shade. Then I'll bring this to the front and resize the boxes. To add some rounded corner containers, I'm going to create a new worksheet called Filter Containers. And I'll create a calculated field called Box with just two quotes in it. Then I'll bring this into the marks and change it from detail to text. If I hover over, you can see there's a tooltip, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Then I'll set it to the entire view. I'll right click inside, go to Annotate, Area, and hit OK. I'll do this twice so I get two boxes. You could just use a shaded text box, but I like to have the rounded corners. Then I'll right click, format, change the corners to be more rounded, and I'll do the shading as like a blue. Going back to the dashboard, I'll add our filter containers in and hide the title. Then I'll go to Layout and bring this to the back so we can see all the things underneath it. I realized I didn't use the same color, so I'm just going to change these to blue as well. Or you could just do no shading. Then you can play around with the sizing and get it to look how you want it to.